What's up guys, welcome back to Joe, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we are doing another rebuilding video. I know a lot of you guys in the past couple of videos have been commenting saying, hey, I'm not really a big fan of the track videos, hey, I'm not really a big, a big fan of the track uh, build series, and it's completely understandable. I've been doing rebuilds for a very, very, very long time, and I've been pretty much releasing content for those of you guys who are actually subscribed to this channel. Uh, the, pretty much the whole track content that I've been doing recently was just to kind of repay the favor that I promised so many of you guys. For those of you guys who've subscribed so long ago and been wanting me to do this content, so this content I know is not for everyone, but I'm gonna put it out there no matter what, because for those of you guys who've been waiting so long for it, a promise is a promise, and I wanna go back on my word. So that content is gonna keep being pushed out to the E36 M3 track. Track build is officially complete, but in the meantime, we do have an amazing build, which is the 335 IS, and we did get a lot more parts to perfect the car. But in today's goal, I kind of want to fix all the airbag stuff. I kind of want to clear the airbag light, replace the battery terminal that's causing the airbag light, um, replacing the seatbelt because that's seized up, and then also replacing the curtain airbag, which is the most difficult portion in the whole car, and then possibly seeing if we can repair the headliner or possibly just put it back because if it's not that bad, we can just put it back. Um, but if it's like really bad and ugly, we're gonna have to, you know, probably go ahead down a Joann's or something and pick up some like suede liner or something. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start up the 335 IS cold startup and get it in this garage. Now that the 335 IS is back in the garage, guys, uh, yeah, we have a mission for this. And uh, the first thing is this seatbelt, as you guys can see, is not getting retracted. So uh, that's definitely seized up. That needs to get replaced. And obviously, that current airbag that we cut out, that needs to get replaced. So we can actually put this headliner back in and hopefully reuse this. I'm, I know there's a little tear there, but that might get covered up if we just put it back in there. So I'm going to see. I'm hoping we can get lucky with this headliner because I couldn't find one this entire time. As for all the front end stuff, like the side uh, the side light, the, the, the 335 IS, emblem right here the wheel liner this piece that piece that piece um, the intake, all that stuff, including the grills and the emblem. I actually got all that stuff ordered and it's on the way. And I actually have a couple of the stuff right now. But that's not the goal of today's video. That's probably gonna be the next video is perfecting the front end and make it look absolutely perfect because I'm still waiting on a few more things. I don't wanna remove the bumper today and have to remove it again in the next video. So we'll do all that bumper stuff hopefully in the near future. We're so, so, so close to getting this thing absolutely perfected. I just wanna really work on the interior and getting that airbag light off because we pretty much only have an airbag light um, and I think like a TPMS light. So the airbag light is our primary focus. Is. So let's just go ahead and just start taking this stuff apart. We have the new seatbelt right here. I ordered off of eBay. Actually, it's only like $30 for a brand new seatbelt. Normally, I would rebuild my seatbelts at LD Solutions, but since it's only $30, there's no point to actually have that rebuilt. It really doesn't matter. Um, just one thing though, it's a little concerning. Um, this, I don't know what this goes to. It's like this. Is the three series a little diff? Oh, it actually goes down here. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. I didn't know how the, that's how the coupes were because on the sedans, the sedans had a bolt that goes into here. So yeah, I did order the right one. I got the coupe one, which is absolutely perfect. And then in the trunk, we should actually have the curtain airbag, which is right over here. Got to be super careful with this. I don't want it blowing off my hand. And last but not least, including the airbag stuff, we have the seatbelt. We have the curtain airbag. We did also get the new cable. So this cable is going to allow us to not have any codes for the airbag module. So that is awesome. So today's video is going to primarily focus on the airbag stuff. Also, guys, another thing I forgot to mention, I don't know if you guys can see that brake light. It is completely sagging. So once we actually have the roof off as well. We need to fix that brake light and then that rear shade will not go down because of that brake light. So hopefully we can actually fix the rear shade, lubricate it so it goes up and down properly and at the same time install that light. So we're doing a lot of things, perfecting the interior, but at the same time fixing a lot of our issues. So I'm super stoked for this. Once this thing looks really put together, this is gonna be a 335 IS the world's been missing because these cars guys are very, very, very hard to come by. And this one's been sitting in the front of a house for two years, not being driven and enjoyed. It only has 56,000 miles. What's such an amazing spec. I am just so, so, so hyped for this car. I literally just removed the headline on an E36 M3. It looks like uh, this is a little bit of reminiscent. So let's, uh, let's start just taking all this stuff off. Oh. 
So now that we pretty much got everything off the front half, uh, we do need, I believe, remove these pillars on both sides. That pillar I have to remove completely anyways because I have to replace the seatbelt. Uh, this seatbelt, yep, seems to be working just fine. So we are good on the passenger side. Uh, normally an indicator that this seatbelt sees is normally, if you pay attention to which airbag deployed, if the driver airbag deployed, you need to check the seatbelt. If this airbag didn't deploy, most likely this didn't seize up either. So yeah, it's looking really good. I'm happy that we only have one seatbelt that we need to replace. But yeah, now that we've got everything off of the front, let's go ahead and move on to the middle and just remove these center A pillars and then we'll get to the back stuff back there. <laughs> So thankfully guys, everything came out pretty easy, but on the negative side, unfortunately, um, a 2013, like this is apparently a 2007 to 2013 seatbelt for the driver's side um, for an E92 M3. Apparently that's not the same on an IS. It looks like an IS has some kind of special seatbelt, maybe an LCI coupe. I don't know why it's different. I don't know. Like, yeah, it does not look like these are the same parts whatsoever. It doesn't look like I can move anything over. It's two completely different parts, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up to see if there's anyone selling this locally right now. If no one's selling this locally, I'm probably gonna have to get this rebuilt because this looks very expensive, to be honest. This has a cylinder head right here, and I think this got compressed, so it needs to get rebuilt. I know LND Solutions can do it, but if we can find this for 40 bucks, might as well just get another one and just return this one. But, oh man, that is so unfortunate, guys. These are not the same thing. On the plus side, though, we can still remove the roof, repair the roof, do everything else, and this stuff can actually be put in in the end, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do some research. I'll get back to you all in three, two, one. Alrighty, so the plan is, I'm actually gonna take this LD Solutions, get this rebuilt, and then as for this one, I'm just gonna send it back on eBay. They said this is a 20, uh, 20, 2007 to 2013, so clearly this is not gonna work for mine. I don't like returning things on eBay, mainly because I buy it and you get what you get. I don't like to cause people to have to pay for shit shipping to me because they don't get reimbursed for their shipping. Um, so long story short, I'm not, I, I'm usually strongly against returning things um, just because I don't like people when they return things to me on eBay, especially if they order the wrong part. But this actually says 2013 up to 2013 and uh, mine is a 2012. So it's within the criteria. So unfortunately they did ship me the wrong part, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and return this and ask for this guy right here. Yeah, we're going to get this rebuilt. So we can remove the roof and replace uh, the current airbag in the meantime. So let's go ahead and remove those dome lights right there and any other piece back here so we can actually finally remove this headline. Just like that, guys, we got the headliner out. Honestly, when I pulled it out, it kind of went back into its shape. I don't know if these creases are gonna go away, but for the most part, it's actually not looking too, 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 too shabby, which is actually a really good thing. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Once you put the thing over it, that's gonna get covered up. This is probably the biggest issue, but honestly, if you stretch this, probably put some super glue or something in a, in a nice way, or maybe even, I probably honestly stitch this up, we'll see. That will actually make that look a whole lot better. And then this will actually get covered up by the handle. So I don't think any of that's gonna show. And the rest of this thing is actually in really good shape. So that being said, primary focus is to get this airbag out. Once we get this out and once we actually install the new one, we're just gonna throw this one in for now just because people are selling these for $800 to $1,000. And my friend said if he gets another E92, uh, he's a dismantler. He just gave me the E92 M3 headliner for free um, because they usually throw that away. It's not really worth pulling out of the car. So I'm just gonna wait for him to get another headliner because this for eight to $900, wait, overpriced that's ridiculous i know a lot of people would like the black headliner and that's why also i don't really want to junk this i feel like it has some kind of value in it still so um it just has a little tear over there if we can get that sorted this is perfectly usable until we can actually get another e92 m3 headliner uh in the meantime because finding an m sport 335 is headliner or anything like that it's gonna be really hard to find so anyways i'm super happy we've made it this far uh let's go ahead and just try to remove this current airbag i think removing it's quite easy just drilling out all the holes or maybe just some screws we'll have to see the hardest part is getting those rivets in there i do actually have a rivet gun that i purchased for the m4 and i still have it i knew that i'm going to end up needing it again so i just don't know if i have the right rivets so you might have to head down to bmw to get it the right rivets but again let's go ahead and just try to remove this thing and uh, we'll take it one step at a time <laughs> Okay, 
And just like that, out with the old. And before I actually say in with the new, we do need to get a bunch of rivets. So uh, let's go down to a couple of stores. Hopefully they actually have the proper rivets for this. I don't have rivets that are this big. I have rivets that are much, much, much smaller. So uh, wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna try to get some rivets that's this size. And I'm gonna take this seatbelt down to LD Solutions. So actually, I just got here to um, uh, BMA European, and uh, basically, I had an, an automatic transmission for my E36 M3. You guys know I did a manual swap, so I actually gave that to them because I don't need it and I want to get rid of it. At the same time, they can actually, you know, sell it. It's perfectly good. There was nothing wrong with that transmission when I pulled it out. Uh, so instead of throwing it away, that's better use for the transmission. Also, for those of you guys who are wondering about those seats back there, I've been having those E36 M3 seats back there for a long time. Anyone wants free seats, hit me up, it is yours. Just come locally, pick them up. Um, I don't know, somebody told me that they're worth a lot. Apparently they ain't worth uh, Jack Baloney. So if anyone wants these torn up seats that want to restore them or anything from off of an E36 M3 sedan, they are yours. Hit me up, let me know. At this point, we are heading down to LED Solutions and hopefully we can rebuild this seatbelt. I mean, I'm dropping it off. We're gonna have to pick it up another day, but uh, we're dropping this off and then we're heading to the auto parts store to get uh, some rivets because apparently there's two ways to do it. You can put in screws or you can use rivets. I honestly prefer rivets because that's what BMW did but um apparently you can use screws I'm just not so comfortable with that idea but yeah anyways we just dropped off our seatbelt it apparently it is a two-stage seatbelt compared to the E92s M3s those have a single stage uh, seatbelt so uh, yeah this is gonna cost a little bit more money to repair but at the same time you guys already know the LNG solutions they rebuild them they have a quick turnaround time and it's way better than ordering it online because honestly I can go order one online 150 200 dollars and uh, end of the day I'd rather support these guys and they're cheaper so it's a win-win honestly you guys can even mail out your uh, seat belts and they repair it and mail it back to you. You guys don't have to do it. Uh, like you guys don't have to pull up to their shop. So guys, I just went down to Napa Auto Parts. They had some rivets, not the exact same size. So if these don't work, it is what it is. Um, these clips should work also. So I read online and some people actually use these kind of clips. Um, they're basically very, very, very strong clips and uh, they should work. But honestly, I would rather use rivets because that's what BMW uses. Um, but again, worst comes to worst, we'll use those. So now that we got those, now that we dropped off our transmission and our seat belts, let's head back home. Hopefully Hopefully get started on this 335 IS reassembling this roof. So we got our rivet tool right here. We have our rivets. Let's go ahead and try to mount the new one. I hope it works out. If not, we're just gonna go ahead and use these manual clips. These should be just fine as well. Guys, I am genuinely upset right now. Um, let me just show you guys. So not only did we get the wrong seat buckle, so we had to drive 45 minutes to go pay to get that rebuilt, on top of the fact you already paid for the wrong seat belt, but also after removing the entire roof, this they sent us the wrong curtain airbag. This is supposed to be the driver's side, and this is supposed to be a lot cheaper because um, the, the, the passenger side ones are the ones that are most likely to deploy. So the passenger ones are going for like 180 to 200, and the driver ones are going for like 50 bucks. And as you guys can see, these are completely opposite directions. Where the tabs are coming up on this, it is facing the opposite direction as the tabs are coming up on this side. So these are completely two different airbags. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to send this back, and this is gonna be naked for a little bit. It is what it is, I guess, I, I've had issues like this come up before. Like I've had times that I've ordered things and it wasn't the right parts, but what are the odds the two things that I ordered did not come uh, the right parts. Like, I just I just don't understand it. That is super unlucky, and uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm all about positive vibes, positive energy, so uh, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and try and do is replace that positive terminal on the back of where the battery situation is, so at least we can get that out way. So we at least completed one of the three things that has to do with the airbag module, and then we can do the seatbelt, and then we can do the uh, curtain airbag. So the goal was to do everything today. It is what it is, uh, things happen, so. Anyhow, let me go ahead and clean up around here, get everything situated, and then get to that cable in the back. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no way I could order a wrong one of these, so uh, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Guys, this is the next 
today and uh, we have some good news. We have some great news. So I actually posted up on Instagram saying if any of you guys have the current airbag that we need for this side. And uh, thankfully, Showman Motors hit me up and he's like, hey, I have an entire E92 parts car, M Sport 2. You should come check it out and see if you want any parts from that car. And I was like, yo, oh. M Sport, which means it should have the black headliner, and uh, it, it probably has a better airbag than my current steering wheel airbag, and it has the current airbag, so I'm super hyped for this, and possibly we can even get some parts for Jonathan's car. Um, I have the truck, I got the truck, so I can give my boy some parts if he needs it as well. Um, just what are the odds that Showman Motors has an E92, M, uh, an E92 LCI parts car? So yeah, let's head out there, hope for the best, wish me luck. Just being down to Showman Motors, guys. Let's see what we can get off this car. Just pulled the headliner out, guys. We are just pretty much gutting and stripping this car. I can finally see the airbag that we need. So let's go ahead and start drilling that out. We pulled so many things out of the car. And actually, there's an extra CCC unit. I'm actually gonna pull that out just in case I ever wanna do a conversion on another car down the road. And there's actually a good cup holder there too. So I'm actually gonna plot those cup holders. He's actually junk in this car. So anything I want from it, shout out to Showman. He's actually letting me have it. So uh, that is a huge plus. Guys, shout out to Sharif. I just got my boy, John in a brand new headliner his is the gray so this works for him i thought it was black it would have worked for me but it is what it is uh other things we ended up getting and that's the crazy thing about life um i honestly got the wrong airbag and that was an honest mistake and i ended up returning i got my 180 dollars back for that airbag and he's actually junking his e e92 tomorrow so he was like hey whatever you get off this card is completely yours i wasn't going to make any money off of it anyway so you know your man had to go ham i got this airbag completely for free which i'm super happy about that's that 180 dollars airbag completely for free this is an airbag I paid $200 for and my emblem was terrible shape. This thing looks brand new. This is a recalled airbag, which I'm super happy about. We got the LCI trim. We got a CIC navigation, CIC screen. Um, we actually got cup holders as well. We have a side mirror I got for Jonathan just in case he needs one. Um, and then I also got a trim for my brother because his trim is in really whack shape. This is also for the, the, the CIC retrofit if you guys get the dash. Usually doesn't come with this piece. My E92 M3 did not come with this. And this is also for the, uh, the navigation retrofit. So got a few pieces. I'm pretty happy and pretty stoked. Shout out to again Sharif from Showman Motors for hooking it up. It was a while to pull all this out, but it was definitely worth it, especially for the deal. Now, since I'm here anyways, and he's gonna be junking the car, I might actually pull that dashboard out. Um, I, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna send. Guys, I ended up getting the dashboard and a couple of the things like the steering wheel and stuff. My brother actually needed the steering wheel because his is in beat up shape and the trim piece. We got a brand new trim piece, brand new steering wheel for that. Got this dashboard. I'm probably gonna end up giving to Erlan. I know Erlan always likes doing these conversions, so I'm gonna give this to him as a little gift. And then also, uh, this little thing back here um, is for Jonathan's roof because his is blown out. So that's a little gift from my boy Johnny. So I'm gonna say, you know, the first person I gotta thank is myself. <laughs> Ever seen that one on Instagram? What? There isn't? I just want to say, you know, uh, thank you myself. I just want to thank myself. Uh, believing in myself. For believing in myself. For all of this hard work. <laughs> Guys, I went early morning, ripped out the entire interior to get a dashboard out, the roof out, this airbag out. Definitely worth it. I did it all in two hours, surprisingly, so that was definitely worth it. Got some parts for the boys, got some stuff for myself, but also, ultimately, shout out to uh, Showman Motors for letting me have all this stuff. He was going to junk the car tomorrow morning, so he didn't care. Whatever that was in it, it was going to be thrown out, so I'm super happy that I got to get some picks in there um, before we had to junk the car. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the 35 is in here. I'm super happy to get that dash back together. I mean, uh, roof, roof, the dash is good. Ooh. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, this airbag is mounted and it's not going anywhere. I actually got these like riveted uh, tabs uh, that pretty much they sell at an auto parts store. And apparently these online people are saying these are perfect things uh, for the airbag instead of OEM rivets. As for these two, um, I was able to put a nut and a screw for these two because they're uh, you can actually get behind it. So I got those two in like that. And then as for this, I just put the original bracket and then exact same thing back there. Put the, put the riveting um, pretty much screw back there. So now that we got the current airbag reassembled properly, um, we can go ahead and reinstall the dash. I mean, the, the I keep saying dash, the headliner. headliner. So once you get the headliner back in the car, we can start reassembling a bunch of things. Um, the only things we're not gonna be reassembling is the stuff on that side uh, because we still didn't get the seatbelt, unfortunately. But uh, we will be getting that pretty soon. Um, so without further ado, I'm so stoked. I just wanted to get this roof back together. I'm so happy we got this airbag in there. And if, for a great deal, I'm all about good deals. And shout out again to Showman for hooking it up on this. He was gonna throw away the car. We had so many good parts that I picked off the car to uh, you know, just sell. 
um, which is a great thing. And at the same time, get parts like this that I really need. So again, before actually putting the dashboard, I just want to come to show you guys. You guys saw in the beginning of this video how my day was uh, like absolutely terrible. How it literally I got the wrong curtain airbag, and then I had the wrong uh, seatbelt. And you know, this just comes to show you that like uh, this just wasn't meant to work out. Like I paid $180 for that current airbag. They sent me the wrong one, so it wasn't even my fault. I sent it back, and then pretty much God's plan was to give me another one for free. So, um, yeah, I just everything worked out. Everything worked out, bro. You see, and everything happens for a reason. So even though, like, sometimes in life, it's a great example in one video shows you guys in the beginning of my day of yesterday how it was absolutely terrible, and then now I see why it happened the way it happened. So God bless. And uh, I'm super happy. We saved some money, and we're gonna be making some money at the same time reassembling the beast. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and put on this, uh, this, uh, not dash. The uh, what's it called? The uh, headliner. The headliner. Bro. guys uh as for the interior it is pretty much complete and it's looking so 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 good it's so actually on this side it's no longer sagging at any point like it's all just held up perfectly good i think it's because it's been rewrapped already the strength of it's really tight there's a small tear uh, in the back that i'm actually just gonna have my, my mom actually i'm gonna ask you if she can just kind of like restitch it um but other than that like it's perfectly good so i'm actually super happy we don't have to go buy another headliner and honestly this one looks almost like perfect like i honestly have seen no issues with it so that is a huge plus so as for now guys uh like i said we have this brand new airbag this is the recalled one i'm gonna go ahead and slap that in here uh, because this one is not as pretty looking i mean it, it, the airbag is good actually the, aesthetically the rest of it is pretty nice but the rest of this car is so mint that i just need something mint like there's nothing wrong with this airbag it's nice it's a sports airbag but this is just mint guys so without further ado let's go ahead and swap out that one with this one let me know guys this is the one i just pulled out of the car and this is the new one i think this looks like the recalled one right here i mean i just think it looks like it the, the logo and everything looks really new and uh this label is different than this label so i'm pretty sure this is the recalled one let me know down below guys uh but yeah we're gonna go ahead and just take off these connectors for the airbag and uh go ahead and reinstall sheesh oh, it's <laughs> i'm good, so man. happy dude guys look at this this is the beginning of this video guys i was like how can my life get any worse because i just financially i've just been struggling a little bit i'm not gonna lie we all have these ups and downs in life but this just really comes to show if i would have just stayed in a negative attitude the entire day yesterday and not try to reach out for help or anything like that my you know if i would have just gave up yesterday i would have just been in a negative attitude the rest of the like week or month or who knows but since i was like you know what i'm not gonna let that put me down posted on instagram one of you guys reached out which again shout out to sharif and uh, now we got a button, that brand new airbag, this brand new airbag, and so many other new things for future builds down the road. Who knows? And uh, but now we have this airbag that I could actually end up selling and make some money back. So, you know, it's just a win. It's just a win. I'm really stoked. I'm really happy. This is better than I even imagined. I'm really happy that the roof looks this good. But yeah, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. It is in there. I'm so happy. Literally, ah, man, I'm so stoked, guys. Oh my lord, this interior is really coming together. The red interior is just so amazing. Again, we just don't have it fully assembled. The rear seats and everything and this door panel and all that stuff, we have to leave it disassembled because we are waiting on the, the seat belt to be rebuilt by LND Solutions. So as soon as that gets rebuilt, we'll slap in the, re, uh, the seat belt and then uh, the rest of the interior, and the interior is gonna be absolutely perfect. There is just one minor flaw with the headliner um, that's still there. But if you guys look at it, it's no longer sagging. It is fully put in there. And there's just little tear right here. I honestly think we can get that stitched up, like pull that up 
and then just stitch it, you know what I mean? So that's the only issue. As you guys can see, it's fully leveled, looks super good, and all the way to the back, there's like no creases. So very happy man right now. If you guys wanna see the next episode, the next episode is pretty much gonna be the front end. I have so many new parts for the front end, uh, like the side markers, the front grills, the new emblem, uh, the grill, like the bottom grills, the windshield washers, the new sensors. We have. I'm trying to still get the horns. I'm still trying to get the horns. Uh, but we have so much new additions to the front end that's gonna make this thing absolutely perfect. Like literally, I'm trying to make this thing look like a clean title, run like a clean title. You guys know that's what I try to do on this channel. So if you guys are excited to see that, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.